we are doing something we've never, ever done before, and we want you to be there for it. This is one of the biggest announcements we've ever made in the nearly 20 year history of the channel. So on September 20th to the 22nd of 2024, you are all, everybody, not just the supporters of supportblindmacow.com, everybody watching this, you are invited to come on down to Franklin, Tennessee, which is a few miles south yeah. of Nashville. And we're all gonna meet up at a camp and we're gonna have BlimeyCon 2024, the first time doing it at an actual camp. It's BlimeyCon, but it's really Blimey Camp. It's basically Blimey Camp. We're gonna yes. have a big like camp retreat. We've got lots of games we're doing, lots of, uh, we're filming live episodes of uh, Christian, meme, Christian review. meme Review. Volleyball, I love volleyball. <laughs> it's volleyball, we're gonna play a lot of that. Uh, you can sign up for zip lining uh, and yes, laser tag. And laser tag, which I'm, again, I'm excited about everything, but <laughs> I love the the activities. Guys, we didn't really go to camp growing up very much. No. Okay, so this this is this is a dream come true for us. It is. Okay? Yes. Yes. So yeah, go to blimeycow.com/blimeycon2024. And uh, there you can buy tickets, and we even have you can you can stay at the camp. You can, you yeah. can get accommodations uh, and we food, yeah, lodging, everything. Food is included, all that. So um, if you want to do some of like the the zip lining activities and stuff, those are add ons, and accommodations are an add on. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stay at the camp. Uh, you can stay off property if you want, uh, but we would love for you to stay around. I think it's going to be fantastic and mm -hmm. uh this year this is what we're really excited about jordan is that this is the first year that we are not running the event right uh we have the fine folks uh who sponsor a lot of our videos uh at unbound uh they run camps and such for their students right and so they got in touch a couple of years ago now and said you know I, we've heard you guys talk about blimey con and how you love doing it but the only your only issue with it is that you don't get to hang out with people and and like fellowship with them as much at the events because you're having to run the event what if we rain it for you so they actually flew me out to one of their events so i could see kind of how mm. they ran it i was so impressed i mean they they do a good job of keeping it like a a professional fun thing while also feeling just like very uh uh, like unified. It, it's a very community driven thing. Yeah. They do. And the, the kids were all awesome. It was so much fun. Uh, so I really think they're going to do a great job of running this for us. And they're yeah. friends. I mean, they're friends of ours at this point. I've known them for years. So it's basically just going to be that uh, some of our friends are coming down to help us run the thing. Yeah. Uh, so instead of, you know, instead of Jordan and I having to be like, all right, hang on, let's get, let's get this thing set up. Now we got to do this. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I know we were talking, but now it's literally going to be Ellie tapping me on the shoulder and saying, Hey, you need to go make this announcement. Okay. I'll be, I'll be right yeah. there. You know what I mean? Uh, so that can be completely off your mind while yes. you're doing stuff. With people. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really excited. I think this is going to be the best opportunity to actually get to like, hang out with you guys. Yeah. Uh, it's that's gonna what we want to awesome. do. <laughs> I just want to play games and talk to people the whole time. Yeah. Jordan's really excited to play volleyball. I love volleyball. I do too. I do too. It is and a laser fun, fun. And if you don't like somebody on the other side, you just spike the ball at them <laughs> and you can't get thrown in jail for battery. <laughs> you just spike the ball at them. <laughs> All right. So, We've done BlimeyCon. This will be th this year will be the sixth one we've done. But these date back to 2016. That is believe. amazing. Can you yeah. believe that's I mean, Eight years ago? That's crazy. And the ago. first one we did, I'm gonna have pictures popping up. As okay. We're doing yeah. this, but the first <laughs> one we did was actually at our house. Uh, it was funny enough. We were actually you were actually initially you're like, what if we just had people like camp? Yeah, in oh, the backyard. True. Remember that? That's true. Because we, we like, thought it was going to be so small. Good thing that didn't happen because yeah. a lot of people came. Yeah, we had like sixty some odd people show up. I remember the moment where Kelly and I said, "You know, we promised people they could stay at our house, but I don't think that's going to work." No, because there were going to be so many people, and pe yeah, people had suggested we can camp out in the backyard. Yeah. But eventually, we just told people they were going to have to find their own lodging, and it worked out because so many people ended up showing up it was yeah. a fire hazard is what it was that first year was so when, man when everybody left our house the first night i just remember feeling like dude that was awesome because that was the first time we'd really met everybody yeah all that's these people true. in our community it was so cool and, and and it really at that point like they the kids that came they spearheaded 
the event. They were at first they just wanted to make it a meetup in Nashville, and then it was yeah. like, do you guys want to be involved in it? And we were like, I mean, sure. And then it became all right. Well, we'll just host it at our houses, and then all of a sudden, sixty people were here. I see. I see. So, so for like, I mean, for an organic event that really wasn't like advertised, yeah. it was just a thing that kind of happened. And we just told people, if you want to come, here are the dates. That was 60 so long some ago, odd people yeah. showed up. Wow. And then the next year we did it again, but we still did it at our houses, which was even worse idea because there were like 20 more people that yeah. came that year. There were like 80 some odd people for the second one. It just kept, yeah. So, um, but it was still great. I remember, I remember, I think it was in 2017. Yeah. Where it was at your house. Yeah. That was the last year it was at our house. This is a long time ago, but we uh, <laughs> I remember we played basketball in your backyard. That, yeah, we, we were... did because that was when I bought the basketball net. I bought it. Oh, did Blimey you? Club. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, we played that, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. This is already... They could come shut this down. If we had neighbor, nosy <laughs> neighbors, they could, this yeah. could be shut down in yeah. a minute. So we didn't want people to plan on being here, and then we have no place to host it. So we ended up uh, renting a theater out in Lebanon, which... Luckily, I, uh, my good friend uh, Elizabeth uh, helped run this theater down in Lebanon, this beautiful historic theater. Mm -hmm. Which and, is near Nashville. Which is near Nashville. And uh, we, for the next three Blimey Cons, we just did Blimey Con mm -hmm. at this beautiful theater, uh, which was such a blessing. Uh, and it was so much fun. It was, yeah. it was great doing it at the theater. That was the first time that it really felt like, oh, this is like a... This is like a for real like event event. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. We rented out this nice place. Everyone's having a good time. Well, we can be on stage and do some like, you know, host games, blah, blah, blah. People can come up on stage and have fun. Yeah, it, that really made me feel like, oh, this is actually like becoming something. Yeah. Uh, that feels bigger than just it being at our house, which was yeah. awesome. But it was like, oh, this is like a big event now. Right. So the, we, the first year we did it, it was, the, it was obviously bigger than when we did it at our house. And then we did it again the next year, which would have been 2019. And that was the biggest Blimey Con we ever did. Mm -hmm. It was like almost like 140 people. Really? In that theater. Yeah. It was, there were a lot of people. It was, it was wow. crazy. Yeah. That was like the, that was the peak of Blimey Con. And it was so sad because then COVID happened. Yeah, exactly. And it all got ruined. <laughs> so we didn't do Blimey Con for like two years after that. Yeah. Um, and we wanted to. Yeah, we kept... Uh, truthfully, we wanted to. And I remember, yeah, there were people like, why didn't you do it? Like, Because uh, I think that we did it again in 2022. And so someone yeah. was like, we could have done this last year. And I was like, yeah, but like, we didn't do know you want to run an event? Would you... Do you want to run an event during all this? With everybody yeah. having a different... Opinion Opinion or about whatever. everything yeah. happening. Yeah, it would have been a nightmare. Yeah. So we took two years off. Um, and then when we brought it back, it was smaller, but it was still a large event. Yeah. Um, it, but it, honestly, it honestly, it was fun. Mm. Dude, what do you remember about that year? Uh, I, remember, I remember having a lot of conversations with people. In yeah. that, and, and, and it was a lot of, I mean, it was a ton of fun. I remember it. I remember being able to talk and more individually, uh, and I've, I always talk individually with, with everybody at BlimeyCon, but that one, it was like, I was able to talk for longer and yeah. really get to know a lot of the people there. And actually, some of the uh, people that I talk to, like n new friends that I met from BlimeyCon that I keep up with um, that are actually moving close by, yeah. uh, they were from BlimeyCon 2022. There you go. And, uh, you know... Speaking of, we actually had a couple of people meet at that Blimey Con, and they got their married. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had a couple of people who met at the first Blimey Con who got married a few years ago, Isn't too. Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy? I think that we probably, every year we've tried to figure out a more, like, how we can just hang out with people more. The new Blimey Con in 2024 is going to be the perfect mesh of both the old and the new, yes. because the old when it was just at our house there wasn't much to plan it was just we yeah. were hanging out so we were we were able to really make deeper relationships then in the 2022 one we were able to make those deeper relationships again because the crowd was a little bit smaller we were right. able to do that more intimate thing we had been doing this long enough so it was like okay yeah. we're at the theater it's the third year at the theater so yeah. we just kind of 
this time we're going to be doing a lot more stuff but we're not going to be running it, right. so we're going to be able to have those deep conversations and really get to know people for yeah. the entire time and not have to be trying to run the thing at the same time. So it's yeah. going to, I'm, that's why I'm really excited about it because I like the things as Blimey Con evolved the goods and the bads of, of, of you know, each year, like, oh, I wish I could have done this yeah. more, this. And so I think that this Blimey Con 2024 is going to be the perfect kind of combination of everything yeah. that we have done. I think that our our strengths lie in our ability to, like, get to know people and stuff. Yeah. I, I don't, running an event is not fun to me. Like, that, no. like, when I get, every year when Blimey Con would be coming up, I would be so excited to see everybody and I would be so, ugh, think about having to plan everything yeah. so this year like we ha were on a call with unbound the other day and they were like let's figure out the schedule and they're like helping us with all of it yeah and exactly. so it's like man none of like if, if this was the schedule and we were in charge of it i would not sleep at night having them like schedule it out and help us plan it man i'm just oh, i'm so excited yeah. i think it's gonna it's be gonna so be much great. fun it's I'm gonna be great. so excited so if you want to come to blimey con go to blimeycow.com slash BlimeyCon 2024. BlimeyCow.com slash BlimeyCon 2024. It'll just be on the website. BlimeyCow.com. You'll, you'll find it there. Find more information. We got an FAQ on there and it, it kind of explains more like what is included with your ticket. Every ticket that, that is sold, you get uh, meals provided and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And we also have like a like a family package that is good for up to five people. Yes. It, it includes uh, lodging, kind of upgraded lodging and uh, but that's going to go really quick. So if you if you're a family wanting to come, I would sign up like immediately, because um, we only have a few yeah. rooms for that. And just so people know, we're not we're we're just trying to break even. On oh this. yeah, the, yeah. We never. This is not for profit. All right, yeah, we've, we've never, never made, made money, money. <laughs> from any blimey cons. We've probably we've, lost money yeah. on blimey cons, but yeah. we do it because we love meeting people. So when you go to pay for blimey con twenty twenty four. Don't think, oh, we're like they Jordan wanted us, they Josh wanted us to charge more for this. They were like, seriously, you you really need to charge more for this. Just so yeah. Like, yeah, but I know it's going to be hard to break even, but it's important to us yeah. that we make it as affordable as possible. Exactly. So. so that that's that's what's happening. Yeah, and we're very excited about it. I think the price point is good for the amount that everybody is going to be yeah going to be getting, and the quality of the event is going to yeah. be amazing. And, and, just, and, and yeah. Sarah has been to the camp before. Yeah, she has. I showed her the camp, and she was like, "Oh, I've been there. It's awesome." And she like had all these great memories of like going to church camp at this place and stuff. Awesome. And she like was like, "Wow, this is great." She was really excited to go. And yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be uh, one of the first kind of the events that uh, our baby gets to go to. There too, you so go. That'll be exciting. I can't, man. I hope everybody comes to uh, blimeycow.com slash blimeycon2024, and uh, prices are going to go up. I don't know exactly what the date is, but this is, we got early bird specials. Yeah, of course. So, so get, get your ticket early. Get your ticket All early, right. and uh, this is happening September 20th to 22nd, 2024. Thank you guys so much. We love you all, and uh, we'll hopefully see you in September. But otherwise, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye.